The First World War, human loss is estimated at over 9 million. On June the 28th, 1914, the great history of the terrible world conflict caught up the Tour de France smaller history. What's striking is that the first stage of the 1914 tour was the day of the Sarajevo attack. The Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated at Sarajevo and the same day the tour set off. The comparison is striking. And at that point, we didn't imagine, I suppose, we didn't imagine the war yet. During the conflict, the tour was put on hold, but its director decided to endless voluntarily. At the time, Henri de Grange was the editor of the newspaper Lotto, and through his writing, he incited French troops to fight. He was a patriot, he was a Bonapartist, above all. So he hated the Germans. His editorials were like, the Germans are all savages, we have to kill them all, go to fight my dears, have no pity, no mercy. And after the finish of the 1914 tour, the war was imminent. So the 1914 tour has a very strong link to the Great War, especially since three great winners were killed. Lapise and Faber were killed in combat, and Petit Breton was unlucky, what with the cart that was on its trajectory which wouldn't have been there. Three tour winners were victims of the Great War, and another 50 who had taken part in the Grande Boucle didn't survive the conflict.